Ben, you're reading what book? Ice to the Eskimos. What was the last book you read? <laughs> Have you read a book? Well, it's bright and early on a Wednesday morning, and myself, Ben, and Dad are heading over to Newcastle. We've got a charity carding event for Riley Children's Hospital. Uh, this is the first year we've done it. Should be a lot of fun. They're doing a uh, LO206 class. Hopefully we see 15, 20 guys out there. And, uh, you know, one of us can push for, push for a win. This guy will eat a habanero. habanero. He'll eat a habanero. All we're asking for is 150 subscribers. Going out for the first practice here on Race for Riley Day. Ben, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. What's it going to be like actually getting to compete against your dad? Well, you know, there's there's a part of me that wants to let the old man win. There's a part of me that wants to absolutely break his hopes and dreams and spirit. So we'll just kind of see on track which one to choose. Yeah. Well, we're done practicing. Next up is going to be qualifying. This kid right here is quick. He's quick. It's going to be tough for me to keep up with him. This is one of your best tracks. Oh, I mean, it, Fast takes, track. it takes some stones. Yeah, you know, it is. This isn't I, for the faint of heart. I shouldn't you even go flat set out. you up for that one. <laughs> so we just had our first, uh, well, our only qualifying session here at the race for Riley. And uh, I don't know. I haven't felt comfortable in the cart today. Um, I don't know why. Just didn't didn't have it. Not really, not a good track to pass on. And I'm a bad passer. So this, this just isn't setting up real well for me. I'm a little outside my comfort zone. I don't like that. Qualify what? Sixth? Sixth. Out we blame, of how many? We blame like, on the I don't know. Eleven, maybe twelve. Fourteen. There's fourteen? Yeah. And I was where? Eight. Puts me in squarely in the bottom half. How were how how slow were the people behind me? Slow enough. I just don't want them creeping up on me. Yeah. Alright, you're good. You've got this. Yeah, you're gonna be passing me. Yeah, I probably. Just, I mean, I expect to win this. I was garbage out there. I was just straight garbage. started at the back of the field he didn't qualify for some there. reason he didn't qualify there but he decided to run there no, we were kind of late oh, we, were, grid. we were stragglers they were waiting on us if i hadn't been the pole sitter i think they would have just gone Probably without us gone but like ben said he he was the pole sitter and i started uh a disappointing sixth i was terrible out there in qualifying um dad how was your race i know you didn't turn on your camera you mm -hmm. and cameras do not mix well no, except for my photogenetically. Right, right. Geneticist. And thank you for passing that along. Generically, photogenetic. Your is not very strong either. Photogenetic, uh, <laughs> photogenic. Passed two or three people. Uh, rode behind three or four people. Almost had my neck collar come off. Fiddled it with it for half a lap. Then I couldn't see anybody in front of me or anybody without me. I felt like Tom Hanks on Castaway, <laughs> just out there all on the island, yelling Wilson. Well said. I started sixth and had a good start and uh, quickly moved into second. Um, my, my camera mount came off right before the race, so I did not actually get my race recorded. Well, so that's. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't. I don't hear it. It's not because I didn't press the that. record button. I don't hear anybody talking about your camera. Made your back. dad's camera. Defect. Always dad in the camera. I want to make dad into the challenged one if they can only see half of your challenges <laughs> you were putting the camera on backwards onto your cart um yep so i moved into second guy in third made a move uh, he got a little wide i i got pushed off track a bit and uh that's where i stayed i finished in third and this 
star. No, you know, I I kind of feel bad because I got a really good jump on the start. I don't think second place was quite ready to go hammer down yet, so I started off with like a two or three cart length lead. I had a, about four or five cart length lead between Casey and Alan, the guy he was running with, but um, they were able to catch me. Laps, it was a 10 lap race. On laps eight and nine, I let him have the lead. Our starting spot for Heat Race 2 is going to be based off of our original qualifying run. Um, so Heat Race 1 was really for points and same for Heat Race 2. And they'll combine the points based off finish, finishing positions and that is where you will start in, in the final. So again I'm going to roll off 6th, Ben is again on pole, and Dad should start where he's supposed to this time and start 9th. This guy has no idea how to use a lighter. There, he finally gets it. The damn wind! Well, here we are after second heat race. Second heat race, kind of like first race, right, Ben? Yeah, I didn't really notice a difference. <laughs> Case, how'd he beat you? Uh, I, I made a move a lap early. Yeah, I thought it was a checkered flag. It was a white flag. Kind of pulled a bin. Thought yeah, the race was so, over early. Yeah. So I led the last lap. Or uh, second to last lap. Thinking it was going to be the last lap. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, Ben, I was a sitting duck on the straightaway. Yeah? Yeah. Ben ran a heck of a race. Ben? Got anything? No, I mean, I... I'm going to regret saying this, but get out the broom. <laughs> <laughs> That's the curse. He can't keep his mouth shut. <laughs> no, you're right. And I, I fully expect to lose this. And I'm okay with it because I just, I've always wanted to sweep something. And it probably won't happen today, but that would be cool. And to call your shot and say, I'm going to sweep it, like like the Golden State Warriors did against Cavs. I don't even like the NBA, but that was just so awesome. Like they called, like get the broom ready. All right, guys, we just finished the race for Riley. Really cool event that we did today. Um, got a lot of fundraising done for... Um, for Riley Children's Hospital, but uh, we got to do some cool racing stuff too. There was uh, 14 206s today, so not a huge group, probably a third of what we're used to, but um, a good group nonetheless. Started the day off with some qualifying, that went great for me. Pull, had a heat race, that went great for me. Won, had another heat race for me, it was perfect, I won. You know, I go into this final, I lead 15 of the 16 laps, but this guy over Did here got me. Out? I couldn't do it. Casey stopped the broom from coming out. He yep. got me on the last turn. Snapped that broom in half. Yeah. It was. It worked out exactly how we wanted. We wanted to just be us two, pushing away from everybody. Um, we were able to do that today. and So, Stone Racing got its first win. Uh, as a race for Riley, it wasn't KRA. That, that's coming, I promise. Congrats to Casey, though. I mean, he, he drove a great, great race, too. I mean, it's really difficult just to sit behind somebody and cherry pick at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's bittersweet because, like, it's great. This is what we wanted to do, but I honestly never really thought it wouldn't be me that won. I just figured <laughs> by the way the day had gone, it, I would be the one in the end, but it's still fine. The worst part is I'm going to hear about this for a long time coming, but that's how it is with family. I hope you can tell how close it was off these videos because it, oh, it was close. It was close. I didn't know. I was that. pretty sure that he had me. So Ben led 15 laps. I was in the shadow pushing him. And I knew where I was stronger than him. I was coming out of the last corner, the last hairpin. I knew I was getting a better run, so I kind of gapped him going into that corner so I could I could uh, draft. And uh, it just barely worked. I, it was very close, like Ben said.
I didn't know I had won, but it is awesome. It's it's not a KRA race, but there were some good there was good guys out here, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It was awesome to win my first race. I dodged a couple cars in between. Passed maybe one or two, and after that it was carnage. I think I should probably finish seventh, sixth, somewhere in there. Solid. Solid. Yeah, yeah, that was a good run for you. Solid, yeah, I started ninth. She may not look like much. Nah, anyone down here. But she carried me to victory. And I love her. <laughs> well, that's it for Race for Riley. I think the day was a success. Yes, you would. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had a great time. Uh, win or lose, it was going to be a good day. It was for fun. It was for charity. It's a little uh, bit better when you win. It's, it's a lot easier to say that with a W. It was just a lot of fun hanging out with these two and some other great racers. Uh, until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. See ya.